Well, they were hailed as heroes of the high street, John and Irene Hayes, the owners of the independent travel agents Hayes Travel, and they have bought 555 Thomas Cook shops, saving them from closure and, of course, saving the jobs involved. Yeah, hopefully the move could protect up to 2,500 jobs. John and Irene are with us now this morning. Good morning to both of you. I mean, we're talking about you being the heroes of the high street and, of course... Uh, I'm sure the two of you are thinking there as astute business people, thinking this is a great opportunity for us as well. Yeah. Uh, whose idea was it first, John? Oh, Irene will say it was hers, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right, too. Was it yours, Irene? When did it and come... Right. <laughs> yeah. When did it come to you, Irene? Were you watching the sort of Thomas Cook yeah. troubles and yeah. thinking there's a chance here? Yes. For, well, for, for many years. I mean, Thomas Cook, whilst they failed on the 23rd of September, it was obvious before then that there were troubles. Um, but as soon as they did go down, first of all, our priority was to our customers. Mm -hmm. So that was the main priority. But, you know, the travel industry is a family and um, we, we just wanted to reach out to all those folk at Thomas Cook. Thomas Cook were a great brand and they were great partners of ours for many, many years. So we reached out to them um, and as mm -hmm. of last night, we'd mm -hmm. employed more than 1,200 of them. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so we, and we supported them right till the end, till the very last day. Uh, but then when there's a problem like this, then there's always opportunity. There's going to be winners and losers. And we immediately thought, well, now there's an opportunity. So what did you see that you could make work that Thomas Cook failed? Because... You know, yeah. you said they were a great brand, yeah. they were a great team. Look at you deciding who's going to answer. I love it. This is teamwork. This Absolutely. is teamwork. Great you know, double what, what is the opportunity there that you thought, they've missed something and we know how to do it? So, first, the first thing is that uh, we have a different model. We are absolutely determined that our staff just listen carefully to the customer and then give them the best value holiday they possibly can. And we are neutral about which tour operator they use. We are an independent travel agent. But you're not scared into it. Of the big concern, the Tom Cook thing, was the internet's been a real, seemingly, mm. seems like that. John's going to come on to that. The second okay. thing, uh, the second part of that first question <laughs> was that um, you can Thomas see Cook, how she keeps yeah. everyone. Yeah. Oh, she, she's the boss. Yeah. Thomas <laughs> Cook directionally sold, so they, they were told to directionally sell Thomas Cook holidays, and they deracked some oh. huge, huge operators like Jack Two. Didn't sell them at all, wouldn't sell them at all. So customers were going in and asking for a jet to holiday. And they couldn't get them. So now the new Thomas Cook will be able to do that. Well, it's not the new Thomas Cook, it's Hayes Travel now. Yes, it's they're the, all Hayes it's Travel. The, it's, the <laughs> old, uh, it's the ex-Thomas Cook. But uh, the difference um, with us between most high street travel agents is that we embrace the internet and... Uh, Two thirds of our customers have engaged with us digitally uh, before they actually book in store via social media or the website. So our staff actually like uh, digital, uh, whereas the Thomas Cook um, and that seems to be crucial these days as well. Absolutely. Particularly as we're seeing so much so much trouble on the high street because of the advent of yeah. the digital age. I, I, so what do they do yeah. then? They try and search out what they think they want, and then they almost come to you to check whether you can do better yeah. and to validate their choices as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. And it, it, it's great. Our staff uh, love the internet, you know, really. And I think most people on the high street would say they hate the internet. And certainly the Thomas Cook staff thought that. Mm. And Facebook too. And we don't, you know, we're not a big corporate, so we don't have a style guide and we don't tell them how to use grammar properly. We just trust them implicitly and empower them. Be authentic. And you're all, a big yeah. corporate now, yeah. though. No, we're not I mean, a corporate. Well, you are, no, I mean, you are legendary not. for we being never super be friendly, corporate. for having parties <laughs> in your own home. I hope you've got a big conservatory because you've got <laughs> a lot more staff coming to your tell you what, this, we've got a, We've got a little soundbite from a, a former Thomas Cook employee <laughs> whose job has been saved. This is what they wanted to say. Yeah. Here you go. Absolutely amazing. I mean, can't really thank John and Irene enough for, for what they've done. They've... Um, They've saved a family, basically. Yeah, one minute out of a job, text 3 a.m. in the morning, out of work, and then the next euphoria, you've been given a job the following night. Could have cried. Yeah, basically, so, so happy. And that's not unusual, is it? What you were just talking before we came on air. What's it been like for you the last couple of days, Irene? Oh, it, it's been just amazing. You know, not only have the, the British public gone into those places where we opened the first shop yesterday, gone in, 
cuddled the staff, but the coffee shops round about have thought, ooh, they might not have a kettle and coffee yet. Let's make sure they're looked after. Oh. And I was running back to our head office yesterday and this woman jumped in front of me and she said, you're Irene Hayes and I saw you on the telly. <laughs> and gave you a big kiss. Oh. And I, you know, but, um, you know, John and I were going through our um, emails on the train and we got thousands and thousands of messages. But, but there's one that I would just like to talk about, just which yes. builds on this, that um, Lenore, who's worked for us for more than 20 years and is in our um, recruitment department, wanted to share an email, and so did the person that we just recruited, and it went, Hi, Lenore, you are my new best friend. Mm -hmm. oh. You not only gave me my job back, you gave me my dignity back, my pride back, and my life. And more than that, you have given my children their mum back. Oh. We will repay you, his travel. Oh, and that's, <laughs> I know, goodness. but it, it's, it's that's honestly, really, it's, it's, it's we, we're really uh, uh, overcome by mm -hmm. it all. It's tremendous. Well, I mean, it's you're great. overcome and you're the ones yeah. that have made it happen. Yeah. I mean, that's the reality. How yeah. many years have you, two of you been doing this now? Uh, uh, I'm afraid to say it for nearly 40. 40 years. You started 40. out the back of your mum's... My mum's uh, children's wear shop in Seaham and County Durham. And look what you've managed to do. Yeah. I, yeah. Honestly, uh, <laughs> you can sense how important <laughs> it is to you and how special yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the feedback mm -hmm. and the warmth and the love, the fact mm -hmm. that the community are getting behind it as well. Mm -hmm. feels like mm -hmm. it's really, really positive too. You had a moment when you've woken up in the middle of the night and thought, what the heck have we done yet? Because usually <laughs> you do when you do a big thing. Uh, not, not really. Oh, we, we, <laughs> be, between us, we, we started with Northern Ireland and the area manager there came across and then Scotland and then Wales and then Essex and then Kent. And we, they came across and said, we'll bring our team, so we want to work for you. And then we kind of went, we may as well do a lot now. Just do the <laughs> lot, and that's the way to do it. Well, we're thrilled for you Absolutely and for all those employees. Involved. Thank Good you so luck. much for coming in. Okay. And Good best luck. of luck. We'll be following it, I'm sure. Yeah. You don't need luck. Clearly you don't, because you're very astute at what you do. Uh, your daughter did send a tweet this morning saying, I just, just went and got my parents a bacon roll, gave them a hug and sent them off uh, to at Good Morning Britain. I feel like a proud parent on their first day at school. Oh. Good luck, parents. <laughs> you did a Our cracking daughter. job. Totally and unlike like Rob Beckett, you got his. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You travel <laughs> Maybe you can sort Rob's travel. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you very much. Right then.